Okay, enough of that. Alright, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Butterfly Square Garden. As you can see, this is a butterfly-oriented video. We have eastern black swallowtails and we have some monarch butterflies and I'm pretty sure I pinned them all on video when I told you that after a couple days when they dried out we would finish the project. I was gonna make a shadow box but what I've got instead are these little petri dishes. They're actually big petri dishes and <clears throat> last year I put them in these petri dishes and I actually like them better than the shadow box because they move around you know I can give them away as gifts and really they just they move around um, all around the house some of them are made into Christmas tree ornaments not to be morbid I know that they're dead animals but uh, it's just like they last forever um, basically if you take care of it um, and they were beloved pets so this is um, just the next part of the sequence I showed you guys how to pin them and now this is actually kind of still a troublesome part where you unpin them so I'm going to get the camera a little closer and let's start with the swallowtails because I want to do them first. I promised a friend um, that I would give them to her since they came from her. So sorry my hand's in the way. I'll try to do it without my hand in the way. I like to use the tweezers to hold the paper down because otherwise the paper lifts up with part of the butterfly and it cracks the wing and we want to have perfect butterflies now let's see a do 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 sorry my hands in the way but I really just want to focus on doing a good job as much as I want to have a good video. Do 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 a do 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 fun fun fun. So I only have five petri dishes, so that's how many butterflies I'm going to do. But at the same time, I only have five butterflies, so we've got the perfect amount of petri dishes um unless a butterfly does not come out good then we'll have extra petri dishes and a garbage butterfly it won't be garbage I'm just kidding oh it's coming it's coming loose isn't this exciting I love my job I do 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 it's kind of more of a hobby right now but this is for sure my career path you know everyone's always asking me like what are you doing what are you doing and I tell them oh you know I work in the garden and I'm doing this and I'm doing that but I'm still kind of like tentative to tell people I mean I tell everyone I'm I'm doing butterflies that's what I'm doing but for some reason it's just like it doesn't register that it's an actual career path. Everyone is just like, oh wow, that's so eclectic. You do butterflies. And I'm like, yeah, but they're actually really important, you know, um, and quite misunderstood. So, you know, the whole point of this whole thing was to make more butterflies in the world. Like, this is the end result. Yeah, I know I've got dead butterflies, I'm pinning them. Um, but, I had them when they were alive you know they lived full lives they had a butterfly feeder and they had plants with them and they laid eggs the swallowtails didn't lay eggs but the monarchs laid lots and lots of eggs um, however butterfly season is over it's winter 
All of my milkweed is gone. So there isn't really much I can do left with them, you know. I did use squash. I used a lot of squash and I fed a lot of caterpillars. And some of, some of them worked, but I'm not entirely sure how good they worked because, to be honest, a lot of the chrysalises didn't turn out good when they were eating the squash, but that was at the same time that there was a heat wave after heat wave, and that also causes them not to do well. So we do the best we can, and next year I think... I'm going to be ready for sure to, to, to make it an ongoing operation, but I'm just not quite there yet. And I mean, I wish I had a little more help, but I'm only one person and it is just such a big job. Big, big job. Okay. Two down. We're doing really good so far, everybody. The camera's a little slow. I hope you guys... Um, are getting a good video out of this. Okay, so let's keep it going. A do 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 We are moving right along, moving right along, moving right along. Do 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 pop. These are coming out so good, I wish I didn't have to give them away. But that's okay, because we've got lots of monarchs. Way more than I had last year. N um, nine, that's how many I got last year. And this year we had like, um, I don't know. I want to say like 100, but it's probably close to 60. I had a lot of caterpillars, so many, but it's just really hard to get all of them to a butterfly because I ran out of milkweed. And I had a lot. I had so much milkweed. But in order to get 30 caterpillars to eat enough milkweed to become butterflies, it's like you need a lot of milkweed. and. It's only my second year growing milkweed, you know, and it takes a long time for milkweed to grow. So, and it needs, it's called overwintering. It's important for them to, to like winterize um, and they die back. And then when they grow the next year, that's how they know to flower. So, you know, it's my second year working with butterflies, but it's also like my second year with a garden. But then again, I've, I don't know. I did a lot of work with gardens back in the day. This is just my butterfly garden. I do 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 and it all started with dill. Growing dill in my garden, but I know a friend who has tremendous success with rue. Um but next year I'm growing lovage. Um I tried growing it this year but it was too late. So these are all done. We have three butterflies. That's a female, female, male. Wow, so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to give them all away. But I've got more. Um, they're rehydrating in my fridge. I've made little rehydration chambers for them. Do, 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 do. But I, it's not going to work as well as when they just die. Um, because... When they just die, they're still malleable. You can move them around a little bit before they dry out. But once they dry out, you got to rehydrate them. And that's not so easy because it's not like a perfect science. It's more of an art form. You can do things exactly the same and have different results. Um, you know, some butterflies are just... A little more difficult to pin than others. I remember this guy was way more difficult to pin. Well, but it was the second one that I was pinning that day, so I had a little warm up. So it's funny. It was uh, harder to pin, but I did it well. Anyways, I'm just rambling while I do my work. I do 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do now that I've unpinned them, I can get right back to pinning them again because it's like, you know, you run out of space on your mounting boards. I don't have an infinite amount of space, so I can only do a couple at a time. I should have been pinning them while, like, they were dying, but I just got ugh, so overwhelmed that I, they kind of started to pile up. And then I had all these dried out butterflies, and I'm like, I have to do something with them. I got to rehydrate them. All right, this will be a tricky spot, everybody. Yay! I got the pins out. Remember his head was falling down, and we had to lift the head up with our pins? That was really hard to do. But the butterflies are coming out so good. I'm so happy. Um... As you'll notice, these butterflies are slightly banged up, and the reason that is because they lived full lives, and a, a long-lived butterfly is no longer perfect. It's got a little, I was going to say discrepancies, imperfections. Um, you know, they start to tear, and the reason why you see a perfectly formed bug when you see them in like museums and all of those other things is because they kill them right away um which is kind of sad i don't like to kill the creatures it's always sad um you know so if you're the type like don't squish bugs I will admit when I was younger I may have squished a bug or two on purpose but um, you know that's not who I am anymore and hopefully y'all will learn life 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 pulling the last one yay the last paper we've got a couple needles left so and a pull and a pull and the pull, and the pull. Yay! Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. I've got my handy dandy glue gun. And I'm plugging it into the outlet right over here, behind this desk. Ugh! And it'll take a couple seconds to warm up. And while that's happening, I'm going to take a sip of water. That is like a perfect butterfly. He might have died before he figured out how to work the feeder, but um, actually she. This one's male, you can see, because it has these spots right there and there. And then this one doesn't have those exact same spots, so that's how you know that that's a male. And that's a female. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous, everybody. I like how <laughs> um, my little Petri dishes have a grid on them. So let me get these papers out of the way. What am I going to do with all these extra papers? You can reuse them. It's good to reuse stuff. Get that out of the way. And I need some sort of like, ugh, a waste paper. Oh look, I drew a Minnie Mouse on that. That was drawn by me. What fun. So, up oh, the glue gun's warmed up. I'm so excited. Okay, so you got to be quick when you do this. Um, let me think. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Let's do this one first. So do a big glob of glue. Like big. I wind it around. And then you got to be quick. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Ta-da! And that's literally all that I do. 
Oh, they're so furry. Butterflies are fuzzy. I wish my camera would focus a little better. Um, and then you just put a cover on it. Ta-da! I'm gonna let that sit, but... Ta-da! Oh my god, wow! What a good one, that's so good. Okay, I'm putting that over there. And now we're getting another Petri dish. I'm going to put the dot of glue a little lower because I think it was a little too high that time. So I'm going to put it like right here. Big glob of glue. Wind it around so there's no trail or anything. Oh, I'm so nervous. Ta-da! Pat it down so that it's like stuck in a good spot. I don't like when they're tilted and stuff, but oh my goodness! Two down, three to go. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with the way these are coming out. Okay. Let me switcheroo, switch a switcheroo. Do 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 do. This is such an unconventional YouTube channel. What do you guys think? You don't really see people doing this crap, huh? So I wish my petri dishes were a little cleaner. I don't really know what's up. They're like streaked or something. But oh well. We do what we can with what we got. Coming up next is a big glob of glue. And now I'm going to grab my butterfly. Oh no, hurry, hurry, hurry. You got to work before the glue dries out, everybody. It is quite importante. Ta da! I was barely on screen, but we got it. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Close that up. Move it on over, move it on over, moving. Do, 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 do. It was tilted a little bit, excuse me. This guy's not setting perfect. Okay. And. Two more to go, two more to go, two more, two more to go. Also, this is all just fucked up. Oh, wells, that ends wells. They're mostly clear. He yeah, ain't perfect. Ain't perfect. Okay, so. Big glob of glue. I wind it around. We're going to grab this butterfly and put her on down in the glue. Ta-da! Yay! We did it again! Wow, they're so pretty. The way the blue shimmers. I wish you guys could see what I was seeing. Close it on up. I'll show you guys again all of them in a second. Oh my god, I thought I lost the last, the last melon. Just kidding. The last Petri dish. Ice Age fans, anyone? That was the first DVD I ever got. It was for like Christmas or something. Big glob of glue, make sure it's on screen. Big, big old glob of glue. I really just pressed down the trigger once, and that's enough glue. Drop in the last butterfly in the glob of glue. Pressing it down very gently. But that pretty much does it. Give it a second to dry out. Close it up. So the reason why I did it this way instead of the, you know, oh man, it's tilting. You stay right where you are, little baby. 
It's like, I'm going to go whatever freaking way I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. What, 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 what? <sighs> Let's show you my work, everybody. Don't forget to unplug your glue gun. That's quite important. Oh, no. I knocked over my basil seeds. It's okay. That's what I'm wearing. I made a little bottle um, of basil seeds. So, um, don't put the board full of pins on your bed like I did. I'm like stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Just kidding. I'm not dumb. Just a little. So, let's show you the work we did, everybody. Oh, man. There was glue on the paper. I thought I ruined the work we did, but it's okay. Um, stupid. Ugh, the light. You can't see with the light, everybody. Anyways. <laughs> that doesn't help at all, either. Um, darn, 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 darn. Well, if I were to maybe take this out. So you can see that, ugh, you totally can't see it all. I put some butterflies in some Petri dishes, and now they're pretty much going to last forever. And I'm going to give them to my friend. She gave me the eggs for the swallowtails. And then she's more of a swallowtail girl and I'm more of a monarch guy. But, you know, we do what we do. Um, and next year, hopefully, I'll, I'll be much better. I just want the world to have more butterflies. So, um... What do you guys think? Do you like butterflies? Would you like to see more? Um, how about if I took... Oh, this is what I should have done. If I take the covers off them, you can totally see them very well. Um, I worked hard to pin those, and I'm really proud of myself for doing a good job, you know? I'm going to tell my friend and have her come get them. Like I said, uh, I've got a whole bunch of butterflies in, they're called hydration chambers. It's just Chinese food containers with wet paper towel in a fridge. But I'm going to try pinning them. You know, wish me luck because it looks like the color is kind of fucked up. And they're probably going to be all cra crusty and crackly, but... You know, I thought it would at, at the very least I could practice doing a hydration chamber and working with difficult butterflies. Um, yep, we're approaching 30 minutes and I just wanted to have a quick video. Um, I'm just so obsessed with the markings. They're so beautiful. So, yeah, now that I can cover them up. I like, the, I like being able to open and close them. Um, I just think that's cool. So I'll put like a little rubber band on them and that'll that'll keep it. But yeah, you know, the ones I have from last year, they're in perfect condition. It's like they haven't decayed or aged at all. Um, butterflies are really cool that way. You know, I see people... I'll be watching TV shows and they'll have them mounted on the wall and I'm like, oh my god, look, there's butterflies. Same thing with or orchids. Once you get orchids, you'll see in like every single movie, they're in every single background. Um, I love you guys. I'm probably going to stop this video and then I'm going to do a pinning video and then maybe a drawing video too. I don't know. You guys are going to get lots of videos from me coming up, so... Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me who you are. We're trying to build a community. I'm sure I'm the only one who watches videos like this. But, you know, I like to record while I work and tell you what I do. 
Um, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Love you guys. See you next time. Um, thanks again. I never know how to end these videos. Bye. Great job. Work well done. You know, we did it. <laughs>